Good morning from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Monday, May 4, 2020. Yes, we have sort of opened. Uh, we are practicing extreme social distancing. Each of us is working in masks, gloves, and in separate rooms. So we're averaging probably 50 feet apart. Uh, we don't want to get sick, but we really enjoy being back together and working. Uh, today I'm applying a second coat of Interlux Premium Yacht Enamel in semi-gloss white. I am using a four inch foaming. These are, these are great for this application. If you use a seven inch, you end up in truth, covering too much all at once, you leave ridges on the edges of your roller path. Um, and I think you just basically waste a lot of paint. We are rolling and tipping. We will be applying four coats now. This is number two. And then Joe and I will be sanding with 200-220, an inline sander, so we don't make cross grain scratches, because they will show up in this paint. And then we're going to go through with our 3M Marine Premium Filler and find declivities like this one. There's several on the other side. And of course, we're still battling with the grinder man's epitaph. Um, the way I'm going, at this, I, I started at the top, did the full length, tipping as I went, and moved down two planks at a time. I'm right now pretty close to being finished, just about to the bow. This is kind of tough with the flare, and that's another reason for using this short Foamy. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but I tend, in this area at least, to work across the planks and then try to come back. At an angle, I'll get paint on all of this. You always want to keep a wet edge, but you don't want to keep a straight wet edge because then you're going to get an obvious and visible overlap that can be tough to get out. The other thing is if you press too hard, I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Let's see if I can. If you press too hard, let's hope this picks this up. You get these you get these ridges in the paint. And it's tough afterwards to work those out with the roller before you tip the surface with the with the foaming. So I, I just keep a gentle touch. Uh, I've had several questions about just a splash of 333, Interlect 333 brushing liquid as a, as a thinner. Uh, Joe and I agreed this morning that, let's call it 5%. As Joe said, that's a pretty good sized splash, but that's about what we normally do. So now we are tipping with a three inch foamy. It's not quite so as critical now, but the flatter you can leave the surface, the easier it will be later on to sand it absolutely fair without having to fight a bunch of high and low points. And since we're already fighting high and low points, the 
uh, last thing we need is ridges to fight, to fight. So here's one right here. There's a there's a glob of paint. So I will work across the grain, and then I'm just barely touching. Uh, you will find on these early coats, and especially the very first coat when you're painting over primer, that the the foamy wants to drag some, wants to skip, and leave little tread marks behind it. The trick is to just as the, the, the verb says, just tip. Now I found a little spot right there that had some extra paint, so I was a little more aggressive there, and then I come back. Here's another one. Here's another one. Then I come back with just the tip. So I force the paint out, work it out a little bit. Here's another one. And there we go. Now the um, premium yacht enamels dry time, recoating time, is specified as 16 hours at 70 degrees. And I'll have to admit that every once in a while, all of us, you guys included, are a little cavalier and we're anxious. We want to get the next coat on, make her pretty, get her in the water, even this year, even if we're wearing face masks when we're in the water. But I came back yesterday, and if you remember yesterday, I said I had the shop at about 61 degrees, and uh, the, the previous day, excuse me, uh, Saturday, and I came back Sunday morning, oh, about 11 o'clock, it was 26 hours later, touched the side of the boat, and you know that feeling. It just didn't quite feel dry. Uh, tacky, well, that's probably overstating, but I decided just to walk away. Why? Why not push it? Because with this paint, we discovered the very first time we used it, and needless to say, we're anxious to see the result. Uh, we had, we got a terrible case of work. Material again is Intellux Premium Yacht Enamel in semi-gloss white. Two more coats to go, and then we will sand with. Then we will sand with. Uh, 200 and 220 using an inline flatboard sander and at that point we will be able to identify any low spots, any declivities and we will fill those with 3M Marine Premium Filler add two more coats of the, the semi-gloss white sander again this time probably with uh, 280 300 just scuff it apply the final two coats she should be ready for prime time at least that part of her then we get to finish the 5200 bottom and of course she's upside down we haven't seen the decks the gunnels the seating and all of that in a long, long time. But we will. So that's our update on May 4, 2020 on our 1947 Chriscraft cedar-sided U-22. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.